Beauty and the Barber, family grocery vacation in Lidl. Let's go. He's what, baby? What they need to do? Follow, Follow subscribe, subscribe, and share. And share. Why not? <laughs> hey, fam. Hey, King King. What are we doing? About to go shopping, right? You got right. You got your own shopping cart. Right. Show them how you do it. Where your cart at? Let's go bye bye. Let's go shopping. Show them where your cart at. Let's go bye bye. We following you. Go. Gotta get your cart back. Yeah, that. Go follow them there. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. We go this way. You want to turn around? Come on. He just wants to follow follow mommy. He doesn't really want to shop, bud. Right. <laughs> all right. All right, so we all fell up in here. We're going to do a little chill thing in this, this vlog instead of reviews and stuff like that. Actually, this might be a leader review, but we're going to... Uh, we got to do our monthly grocery shopping. And what makes ours unique is we have, uh, our family members have celiac disease, a couple people in our family members. So we have to shop. Our shopping is a little bit different from everybody else's. A lot of people can eat gluten and breads and stuff like that. And that's like the big red no-no in our house. Yes, and it is. The big red no-no. <laughs> <laughs> red as those glasses in that hat. Yes. This kisses to y'all. I get my kisses any way I can. All the time. So, so we're going to stop by and we're going to highlight uh, some gluten-free products. Because like I said, my family has celiac uh, disease. And it may be some people out there with that or something that's similar. We'll let you know the stuff that tastes good. That's right. tried and true. And in the comments... And, and under this video, you let us know because your favorites are. we can't stand, you know what I mean? Things. Yo, and the gluten-free stuff, most of it most sucks. Of it but we got some good ideas. Let right. us show you. Uh, that's enough, buddy. Follow mommy. What? My favorite strawberries. Yeah. Oh, man. 99 cent. Yeah, Lidl. Yeah. Yeah, because we stay making smoothies. So what about, uh, hey, Cali Cal, you up? You up? Say hi. You just be chilling. What else is over here, babe? Okay. King King, what you getting? Okay. That's cool with me. At least you like healthy stuff. They couldn't hear you, baby. Oh, yeah, when we had that crab feast. King King, mommy about to go bye byes. Let's go. Just got one question for my baby. Just one simple question. Because these good old asparagus I like are how much? $2.99. $2.99. But how much is my love and all this? All. <laughs> This. This is free for you. Oh, for What you got? Put them back. Okay. Thank you. Seated 
grapes. Oh yeah. Non-GMO. Non-GMO. If it ain't got a seed, then you ain't supposed to eat it. You are not supposed to eat it. Get us a nice good batch. Seeded grapes, red seeded grapes. Blueberries. You got some blueberries. Raspberries. Family pack. Three forty nine. Two ninety nine. Mangoes, pineapple chunks. Raspberry. Applesauce for the babies. Organic applesauce too, baby. We just got the strawberries. You wanna get one more? 269. Like seriously, we can freeze some. Bananas. Get some. Yes. Go put it in your cart. Put it in your cart. Good job. Right here. Yours, buddy. Put it in there. Right here, bud. King King, your cart, buddy. Get some more. Get some more. I love these ones that let them do this because it just keeps them, keeps them active. I see, buddy. Yeah, get that one. Good job. Go put it in your cart. That's a big boy. All right, let's go get mommy. Come on. There she go. Those burger buns. They 69 cents. I'd rather have a bite of these free buns. <laughs> Happened again. Little man got sidetracked with uh. Shit. Food. <laughs> and he decided that he wanted to eat something instead of pushing his cart. And I ain't about that life. I ain't about to be pushing his cart. Gotta get his sister from time to time and all that. So we putting this back. Putting this out. And we're gonna put this back. How you doing? where he got it from. All of us not ignorant. All right, I remember he got this from here. And this was here, even though it don't match. Shout out to Bar S, man. Them, them good old 99 cent hot dogs. I don't know about y'all, but I grew up on those and them good old baked beans. They don't make beef, though. So now that I got a choice, I don't eat pork, no swine, so can't indulge no more. But actually, I went and save a lot the other day and uh, found some beef ones for two forty nine. Hello. Okay. What you want? What you need? Yes. What you want? Some more banana? Yes. You want some nana? Uh oh. Let Daddy get that. What are you doing in here? Yes, buddy. Nana, what you got over there, mama?
We like to go out and enjoy the ambiance sometimes, but we always enjoy it. Yo, them things, things look good for that cheap, though. Check and this they out. they are $5.99. So, once we make these things, they're going to be delicious. Oh, man. That look like some high quality steak there. And guys, we're not purchasing this today because I just don't like cooking big pieces of meat like that. But for the lamb lovers, this is a leg of lamb that is $5.99 per pound. Where? You can't beat that. Oh, can't yeah, you beat can't it at beat all. That. Got some chicken too? Yeah, we're going to see you that. You know, we loves us some chicken. Fried all types of ways. Baked, smothered. $1.99 boneless chicken thighs. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's what it says, $1.99 per pound. Still per oh, pound, okay. but that's right, not... Right, You can't you see, know, you like them, you trying to trick the folk. No. You gotta say that, though. you say that per I mean, pound behind that $1.99, dude. You found, baby? Country style beef ribs. Oh, Country yeah. style beef ribs, for how much? Uh, $4.99 a pound. Ah, my baby added that pound in there, that's uh. Yeah. They look like they got some meat on there. They do. They were like really meaty. Look, that's like yeah, all. Yeah, I hate them ribs with the bone, man. People be thinking they doing something, bringing them bony ass ribs. That's all yeah, we're gonna get these two guys because motherfucking like Skeletor ass ribs. We you don't eat very much meat. Saucy ass barbecue bones. So believe it or not, this is gonna last a little Beef bit. Beef filet mignon. Yeah. That's always high. That's six strips. Yeah, son. And believe it or not, we really don't eat meat as much as it seems to this way, you feel me? But when we do, we like to eat organic, grass-fed, good meat. Not as much, you know, pumped up stuff as much as possible. So that's why we try to get all the good cuts and all the, uh, you know, no preservatives, all that good stuff. Yes, son, yes. You want another Nana? You know you're not even supposed to be eating them Nana son without mommy and daddy paying for it yet. Yes. I know you don't care and you just want the banana, buddy. Here. What do you say? What do you say? You're welcome. You're welcome. Come on, let's go this way. Okay. So we wasn't quite sure this was going to turn into a Lidl review, but after looking at these prices in here, this ain't our first time coming in here. Mama normally come out. I just come out and grab the bags, put them in the house. But looking at these prices, man, this like this like Walmart, man. This is better than Walmart. Like better than Walmart. Like better than Walmart. For real, for real. And it's healthier. So I'ma say right now, Lidl, you got our vote from Beauty and the Barber. I hope all my Beauty and the Barber gang members come out and watch this video and then go out to Lidl and make your own assumptions and then you see you know make your own assumptions see how you like it but i know one thing it's worth the trip if you look at this you know it actually is not too many people in the store and i said move out of the way walmart before i seen this well i be they even sell stuff like this for a good price Yeah, we can deal with Lidl, man. King King, what you crying for? It needs the seats now, okay? Thank you. Tricycle. That's actually a dope one, though. We all know how expensive chicken wings are, guys. Is that milk for one fifteen? Oh, yeah. 368 366 You better be quiet. 115 for skim milk. 108 for 1%. What is it, an excess of milk these days or something? Whole milk 108? What's going on? Chocolate milk is 120. Hey, chocolate milk is the highest milk there. Look, 115, 108. So the healthy milk is the second highest. And then look, ah, chocolatino. Shout out to all my chocolate milks out there. <laughs> Walmart, bro. Watch out. And Jack O'Lane. Jack O'Lane, man. Why are you overcharging? Is this what you're really paying for your juicer, man? Jack O'Lane. Is this what you're really paying for your juicer, man? Even got colors. Don't be doing us dirty like that, Jack O'Lane.
Yo, man, this caught my eye because I'm in the beauty industry. I would want one a little bit more professional, but you know where we are, how we are, beauty and the barber gang. We start where we can. I got my eyes on one, but I'm sharing that for someone that might need it. Say you like massager, you know, cleanser or jewelry and stuff like that. It's not bad. Cordless vacuum. Dyson, you better watch out. Silvercrest coming. I believe so. Chicken nuggets and the waffles, guys, with some chicken and waffles. I'm trying to tell you. Delicious. Three dollars. Gang, gang, gang. I've tried every frozen waffle on the market. I'm talking about tasting like cardboard, everything. These have been the best to me besides making them myself. Gang, gang, gang. Gang, gang, gang. And we have gang, gang, gang. Okay. So I think that was it for that. Stuffies, babe. Stuffies. Stuffies. That's what I want. Stuffies and the Philadelphia cheese steak. That's what I want. A cheese steak. No, that's not okay. What's up, bud? You want me to pick you up, too? All right, I think. Here, you, you got it? You sure you got it? Yeah. This is Super Daddy over here, guys. I should say that because I have both kids. And, and each a car kid. Seat. And a car seat. See? Yeah. You guys see? You want some of my pizzas for Super Daddy. Huh? Didn't we get pizzas here, too? Oh, sorry. I got it, son. By far the best gluten free pizza. By far. That's the only thing about Lidl and Audi and stuff like that. You got uh, buy bags, carts, it's a quarter, but you get it back and you have to, uh, you know, bag your own stuff.
the receipt. We're going to review the receipt and go over what we normally spend and about how much we spent here for about two weeks worth of groceries. I can let you guys know that I would have bought the same amount of stuff in Walmart and I would have spent about $300. I just want to let you guys know that if I would have bought what I bought today in Walmart, I would have spent about $300. I've done so many times before, which has brought us to Lidl. Uh, in Food Lion last go around, I spent about $500 on just this much meat. So this trip, I believe it came to $176 for everything. And y'all seen we got a lot of meat. Like, a lot. And we, you know, I we have didn't want to spend a lot. There is right now. Our legs, budget was 200 wings, tenders, breasts. Flat breast and breast. <laughs> this is only our second full time shopping at Lidl. At Lidl. Um, and uh, it's Great definitely going to be. Listen, it's the easiest. I normally have to go, and I know if you eat gluten free, you can actually relate to different yes. uh, grocery stores. stores. You know, Food Lion, Walmart, for different the bread, stuff with different for the tastes. Noodles. You know, for so the to, soy sauce. To make it easier, I just eat what she eat, and yes, he does. Now we found Lidl. So shout out to Lidl. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> All right. So we actually came out of Lidl. Here's the receipt. Lidl, Lidl, Lidl. All right. And the grand total is for, what would you say, about two weeks worth of stuff, baby? Hey, little man. I'd say more than that, honestly. Let's just say two weeks to keep it, you know, even. So we came up with 176.52. Mom busting in on our on our thing. We giving a mom a ride to grandmother's house. So we got 176.52 with two weeks worth of shopping. You guys get that on Lidl. And we normally spend about what? Two something? Two forty? Yes. About about two yeah, around three hundred. Between Oh, three something. See again, she's the one who goes, I care. So if you really want to be honest, let's just keep it at three hundred. We honestly saved eighty-five dollars. Pretty much. Or um, excuse me, a hundred and uh thirty thirty dollars. $35 because we normally spend 150 more and we only got $15 roughly you know what I mean over here so that's a big savings that's big enough you think about what you can do with an extra $135 every two weeks so you gotta think about that I know what we can do with it beauty and the barber gang 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 gang, gang guys peace what baby what they need to do follow follow subscribe, subscribe and, share. and share why not <laughs> peace, peace.